Thanks for checking out these videos that accompany my new book, Playing the Saxophone, published by astutemusic.com. I wanted to write this book as I spend a great deal of my time teaching um, at the Royal Northern College of Music in Manchester. Uh, I've been head of the saxophone department there for 15 years now, teaching some fantastic young players at the beginning of their careers. And as a result of that, and my playing myself professionally in a whole range of settings from solo and recital work to um, orchestral playing, to playing in big bands, to doing jazz gigs and pop sessions and pretty much everything you can do involving a saxophone over the last 25 years. Um, playing with some fantastic musicians, not just on the saxophone, but a whole variety of instruments. Um, I've sort of formulated a way of thinking about the instrument that I've been teaching on my many summer schools and at my teaching at the RNCM and I wanted to put this in a book um, at the request of many of the students that I um, meet in my travels. Um, the book examines pretty much every aspect of saxophone technique that I could think of um, and centres around the notion that well, there's two tables in the book, one of which examines everything you can do on one note, every musical nuance that you superimpose onto the basic information of the sound, how it starts, how it finishes, what the middle of the note's like, what sound you superimpose, what colour you superimpose on it, uh, what kind of vibrato you use, what shape of the vibrato waveform, does it decrease, does it increase uh, your intonation, dynamic, your projection, everything I could think of that you could put onto one single note, because after all, if you think about it, we can only play one single note at a time. Um, and each of those musical and, I guess, psychological processes we've examined in the book, um, underpinned by another table which looks at the fundamentals of how we achieve all of those techniques, starting with the basics of posture um, and moving air into the saxophone, understanding why the saxophone needs a certain type of air how the instrument works and how this relates to what we do with our bodies. Um, right the way through basic finger position, hand position, finger technique, um, uh, right the way through controlling the altissimo, controlling the vibrato, so the how to do all of the techniques on the saxophone. Um, and we work through all of these in the book and all of the mental and musical processes we've uh, combined the two, so that by the end of the book we've looked at the how and the why and the what of everything you do on the saxophone. None of this is particularly geared towards any style of music. Um, the saxophone plays so many styles of music. I make a living playing so many styles of music. I wanted to write something that examined how you play the instrument and then enabled you to superimpose the style of music you're playing on onto that. So uh, whether you're playing one of the scale exercises with straight quavers and an even sound and a nice vibrato that you're working on in your classical playing or whether you then use the same exercise but turn it on its head and play it with a fast bebop articulation. Um, the, the same music is being used but you are very positively superimposing different styles onto the music as you have to do with a saxophone player um, in order to get what you want out of those exercises. And the whole book is set up um, along those guidelines. It's designed for any serious saxophone student. Um, anyone that wants to really understand why the saxophone does what it does, why they can do what they can do, but why they can't necessarily do all the things they want to do yet. And for anybody that feels a frustration in their playing from that continual repetition and practice and repeating the same things over again, but somehow not getting any better anymore that point where you realise the techniques you've picked up almost subconsciously through your early years on the saxophone need to be redefined and understood in order for you to move forward, to break through the glass ceiling, to get to the point where you can really achieve your potential on the instrument. I hope you enjoy the book. Uh, I've enjoyed writing it uh, immensely. Um, do get in touch through the website. Let me know what you think. Um, www.robbuckland.com and the book is available online from astutemusic.com. Follow the links that are coming up. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy the book.